Welcome to our tech talk on our project Poisonous Plants Guide. Our initial inspiration for this project came out of desire to combine t technology with our interest in the hard sciences like biology and ecology, as well as our desire to create something that people could use in their everyday lives and that's something that could provide a tangible benefit. We decided to tackle the issue of helping users deal with the effects and help them identify po poisonous plants that they could find in their local area or community. Our solution to this problem was to utilize the Unity game engine to develop an easy to use application where users could access information on not only how to recognize these plants, but how to treat the, the effects of contact and how to um, potentially re recognize if their condition is serious or um, merely treatable at home. We also wanted to create helpful visuals so that um, people of all backgrounds and cultures and ages could easily understand the effects of these plants, as well as provide further professional resources so that those who are suffering from a serious condition know so and can take the necessary next steps. The technology we used was primarily Unity. Once again, it is typically a game engine, but we repurposed it to create our program. We used Blender, which is a 3D modeling software to create our custom human and plant models, which you'll see later. And we also used C Sharp um, to create scripts within Unity. These scripts helped us customize our user experience by allowing us to change scenes and rotate objects. Here's a sample workflow for our project. So you start with the title screen where the user has two options, plant selection and credits. Clicking credits then takes you to the credits page, which incl includes some further information and research regarding the information we used for our project, as well as the information and credits given to certain pre-made 3D models we used in our project. Clicking plant selection then takes you to a selection screen where you can choose from currently four plant options, poison ivy, sumac, hemlock, and foxglove. If you click any one of these options, you are then directed to an information panel where the users can choose um, further information regarding these plants So here's just a short video of a demo regarding our project. Hi, so today I'll be going over our project, which is called Poisonous Plants Guide. We created this project using Unity, which is typically a game engine, but we repurposed a lot of the features to create something that could be used by medical professionals or just the general public to know how to identify and handle contact with poisonous plants. So let's start. Here is our selection screen. It shows the options we have of the different poisonous plants. So we can start off here with poison ivy. And here there's a general description of what poison ivy looks like and how you can identify it, as well as the scientific name and a diagram of the human body, which shows what parts of the body will are most affected by contact with this poison ivy plant. If you click these buttons, you can see the ailment and cause of poison ivy, so why does it cause such a harsh reaction, the symptoms of contact, how you can treat poison ivy, what habitat you could find it in, as well as if you need to see a doctor after having been in contact with it. Um, and you can also go back and then all of these other plants have similar diagrams, the similar structure, whether you have the description, ailment, cause, symptoms, treatment, habitat, see a doctor, as well as a different diagram of the human body showing which parts are most affected. And so here's the diagram for hemlock. Here's the description, and then here's the one for sumac. So there's our project. We hope our project can be used 
used by people of all ages and backgrounds in order to better educate themselves about the effects of poison ivy and protect themselves from potential danger. So in terms of our uh, architecture of our project and our overall workflow, uh, from the very beginning, we decided to take on a very systematic and methodical approach to our project um, in order to be more efficient and streamlined. We started off our first week by brainstorming some ideas um, that we had for a medical related app. Um, after doing a little bit of research and narrowing it down, we decided upon a poisonous plants app because we both had some common interests. Um, because we knew that we were using Unity and some 3D modeling software, we began to research those software uh, programs more and complete some tutorials on them to get an idea of how they worked um, and also an idea of the amount of work we'd have to put in to complete certain aspects of our project. Um, this gave a very good idea of the overall scope for our project and what was uh, possible to do within the four weeks that we had. Um, after that, we created some low fidelity uh, wireframes, um, and this really helped in giving us our, our project a structure and a, a good vision of what our final product might look like. Um, we did some extensive research into the different plants that we might include, um, and at the end, we decided to divide up the work into the different scenes that the app would consist of. Um, this was pretty efficient for us uh, since we were able to work on the scenes independently um, and then just combine them to create our full and final project. So in terms of some of the things we learned throughout the last four weeks, uh, I think one of the biggest things is definitely project management. Um, working together on Unity software and managing the, all the assets that we had um, was pretty difficult, um, but this experience definitely helped us with that. Um, and through constant communication, we were able to effectively delegate all the tasks that we had and build our final product. Um, also using software uh, like Trello and Discord uh, was something that was new to us, but that we found out was very uh, well suited for working on projects like this. Um, what we also learned a lot about, um, and which was also new to both of us, was modeling, degree modeling specifically. Um, so that was definitely uh, a big lesson uh, that we had a lot of experience with the last four weeks. Um, we learned how to use some industry standard programs like Blender and Mudbox uh, to create the appropriate 3D models that we use for our project. Uh, and of course, the game engine that we use to put everything together, Unity, um, was a big learning curve for both of us. Um, but after the four weeks, I think we felt very comfortable and a lot more confident in our ability to use Unity. Um, and I think going forward, both of us will definitely be using it um, in order to create any future projects or apps. So in terms of further work, um, in the future of our product. Um, definitely expansion and refinement is by a, a priority. So future changes to the project would be, um, would start by adding more plants to our collection. Um, as of now, we have four plants, four pretty common plants, but of course there are many, many other poisonous plants um, that people might encounter when going on hikes or camping. Uh, so that's something we certainly want to be able to include. Um, and of course, just overall refinement. So improving the quality of 3D models that we created, um, improving the quality of the writing uh, and the research that we did, um, just overall refinement to our project. We also had a couple other ideas to narrow down plants that people were looking for instead of just having a, a large list, for example. Um, so uh, to search plants by regions or certain characteristics would definitely be helpful um, for users to find what they're looking for. The other thing that we definitely wanted to do uh, with our project in the future is to incorporate Android or and iOS integration. So right now our project um, is web-based uh, in that it can be run in a web browser, but we definitely want to be able to take that into the mobile world. 
but we definitely think it's worth it in the end. Um, the added benefit of having a mobile application for our project is pretty substantial, um, and it's something we definitely want to have in the future. And finally, um, here's our contact information. If anybody has any questions or comments about a, uh, a project that we did uh, over this last month, we definitely would love to hear it. Um, so thank you very much, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it.